says, once you've experienced hints of the 10th floor living, how do you see the trap door before you find yourself back on the sixth floor? Is gratitude and surrender the best way to find our neutrality? Okay, so one thing that I've been really been, since I've been getting all my downloads for Second Sunday, is, you know, the 10th floor is not a place you go. 10th floor is a state of being. It is a state of knowing. Now, being and knowing are very different than achieving and doing, okay? You could be doing 10th floor work, but you're not on the 10th floor, okay? The 10th floor is complete being, which means you are so settled on that particular floor, whichever floor it is, that nobody can kick you out, nobody can take it away. It's like you own it, it is you. It's like it's not even something you own, it's something you, you are, okay? Because ownership is, there. there's still lack there. I'm talking about like the 10th floor is you. You know, the metaphor I tell you guys that you are your house, you are your car, you are your money, you are your body, you are your health, you are your relationships. Those are your state of beings, right? That's where you are. Like, and that's the only thing you can produce from that state of being is what you see around you. So when you raise your vibration and frequency, you can produce more of yourself because you're less dense. Like you can create more of a bigger life. So the, the kind of object of the game is to have the taste of the 10th floor and to feel the frequencies of the 10th floor and then close the gap of vibration as you're moving up because it, it, you cannot go to the 10th floor and be there unless you are the 10th floor. Like, let me give you an example of someone who's the 10th floor. Um, and I'm just going to throw this out there. It's it, Oprah is an example of a 10th floor, right? Nobody can take her status away from her. She's a billionaire, so even if she lost a lot of her money, she would still be wealthy, right? There's no, And she could make it back tomorrow because she's Oprah. Like, it would just come right back. She would just open her mouth. Everything she talks about turns to alchemy gold, which means if she talks about your book, you're going to be a bestseller, okay? If she has you on your show, you're going to be famous. Like, her vibration creates more 10th floor. Everything she touches turns to gold, right? And so I'm talking about a byproduct of her actions. I'm not talking about who she is as a being. I'm talking about like her status, okay? So with that, she's moved up to this place where she fell through the trap doors, right? And she fell down and then she got back to the point. And now the, to this point of her life right now, she's just living as the 10th floor. She is not living on the 10th floor. She is the 10th floor. She has become the 10th floor. So whatever floor you guys are on, if it's wonky, it's because you have the frequency of that floor, but you have not become that floor, right? And the fifth floor is where I find most people because it's this, this juggle between the safety issues of the third dimensional reality and the knowingness of their higher consciousness and that gap that just feels sometimes so steady and then sometimes just like it's going to fall apart and it could happen all in the same 30 minutes. That's the fifth floor. That is like duality. That's like your center point. That is like the middle where you are moving into a higher level awareness where you can feel thrive. You can feel higher realms. You can feel that 10th floor. But the fifth floor is where that bottom could drop out at any time and you could literally lose everything and it wouldn't repopulate like it would for Oprah, right? Okay, so with that being said, you know, once you get to the sixth floor, the sixth floor is more thrive than survive, okay? It's it's almost like those little survival issues will kick in, but they're more like little ghosts. They're just haunting because, like, you might lose something and then find it or you run out of money, but it comes back. It's like the sixth floor is where it's like the, the fear might still be there of, like, <gasps> but the universe has just got your back. Like the thriving is just happening. And then by the time you get to the seventh floor, literally it's like, it's like breath out and in, out and in. You're playing the money game, breathing in and out. You're in your worth. You're in your, you're moving to your purpose. You're starting to get paid to be yourself. You're really functioning. You've got really solid like friendship lines and business lines. And you're starting to work with like-minded people. I would say the seventh floor is like, if you look at the seventh year cycle, the seventh floor is like when you really start to master thyself. 
Okay. Now I would say that, that Oprah probably mastered herself or in the early two thousands. So she's been working on her 10th floor for like the last 20 years. So it's like, this is not like something that she just achieved. She's been working up with it. You know, she faced her, her own demons on the way up. Now, what I could recommend for this 10th floor idea is that once you know that it's a state of being, you're going to stop start kind of searching for it and you're going to, you're going to learn to become it. Okay. And it goes back to the last question of human mind. It's like, okay, that's what, what's getting all of my energy. And not that I'm looking at lack is that I'm investigating, I'm researching it, I'm observing it, I'm accepting it, I'm honoring it, I'm allowing it, I'm changing the pattern. Boom. Back to the cycle, right? And this is all going to be outside of your comfort zone because if you guys listen to Second Sunday, it's all about the vision quest. You guys heard me say that 2020 is the year of vision, but it's not going to be as easy as just opening your eyes and seeing the veil drop. It is going to be you going into extreme discomfort of yourself and moving into your shadow intentionally, right? And this regret, this um, this Mercury retrograde is going to help immediately you get slammed in there going to be great and you're going to go in there and you're going to do it willingly because you know enough about who you are that what you're facing is the parts of yourself that actually hold the most magic because in your lack is the void the void is infinite potential okay so back to kind of understanding your question is checking in with yourself um lacy i mean i think the class that i gave you guys yesterday in teacher training should kind of sum up that question um, as far as what you might be looking for, as far as your 10th floor identity, your 10th floor identity is basically the master of the Darth Vader and the Luke Skywalker within you. Okay. It is not, it is not that you're becoming light and just becoming like pure. It is because it is that your darkness is now holding the vibration of love. I mean, even if you look at the story of star Wars, it's like, you know, it's like Luke and Darth, Darth Vader. And then Darth Vader is his dad. Like his, Darth Vader is him right? It's like creation. So it's like, it's all symbolic and it's all a metaphor, but really what you're doing is, is you're, you're going to get to the 10th floor faster. If you look at where you're lacking and you're bringing light to the darkness, you'll go up faster and you'll hold it. Cause if you go to the 10th floor, so you can avoid the sixth and set the sixth floor, you're going to, that trap door is going to show up real quick. Okay. Good, great question for everybody else. All right. 